Hello there and welcome to Chipotle College Television. This is Athletic Department today talking with our ladies, our women, girls basketball team. Greg Franklin, how you doing, Coach? Good, Roy. Good well, to be now, here. how long have you been at Chipotle now? This is the start of my fourth year. Fourth year. It seemed like just yesterday that we were doing our first, our first show. Yeah. I know. Well, your clothes look a little bit better, so we must have paid you pretty well. <laughs> I think I had these clothes when I, I think came the here. Same one. You're right. <laughs> That'll probably been my first interview. All right, now, Coach, where are we now? We're filming this in October, the middle of October. Where are we with the team? I mean, what are we doing these days? Well, we're trying to, trying to really find ourselves in, in what we say is our system, which our system evolves to match the talent that we have, you know, the type of team, the type of play we're going to have. I'm still learning our kids. I'm still learning what their strengths are and where the, their niche will be offensively, defensively. Uh, we've made great strides in the last two weeks because of playing in jamborees. And you really kind of find who's showing up, who's going to be there, what can they do when the lights come on. Um, and it's been, it's been educational the last two weeks. Because I, <laughs> well, is that I mean, a positive or a negative, I, Coach? You know what? In some ways it has been positive. In some ways it's been negative. But I think the positive outweigh the negative Well, right you now. recruited every one of those girls. That's right. And uh, each and every one of them are unique. Uh, they bring something to the table. And I, at this point as a coach, I think it's my job to kind of clarify this is not your job, but this is your job. You know, you don't need to shoot it 25 times. You might want to guard it really hard. <laughs> That's not your niche. Well, don't you think in the, in the last three years you've been here that our defense is better than the offense? Yes, and uh, I'll say that right now. We're just leaps and bounds ahead of ourselves offensively with our defense. Um, I, I love to have my teams are predicated on uh, athleticism, speed, quickness. I like to be long at the 3-4, you know, and 2-3-4, so we do press and trap, and that's pretty much our MO. I don't think a lot of people want to come out and just watch us walk the ball up. They want some action. So, and it's good for the fans, but also you got to recruit to that. You know, a lot of players say, yeah, we want to press and trap. We want to push the basketball. When they start getting fatigued about three minutes into then it. Then what do you do? Then I say, coach, <laughs> just walk it up or get a timeout, you know. But the good thing about this team and, and what will help us in our system, what we do is that we're really deep. I mean, we'll go 10 or 11 deep. Uh, and all of them are athletic, quick, and, you know, we're too deep in every spot. So that's a good thing. Well, somebody was playing last year, Coach, uh, they obviously had not played a pressing team. Hmm. And they couldn't get it across midcourt for the first three or four minutes. And I, that happened about twice, if I remember correctly, maybe even three times. You know, yeah. they were struggling to start with, and we got up on them double digits before they even scored. Right. That's... That's the thing, you know, we, we want to pick them up as they walk off the bus. A lot of people say that, you know, we want you to guard them when they come off the bus and all the way through <laughs> warm-ups and everything else. Don't yeah. worry. We're, we have that kind of mentality. Uh, the one thing that we don't have this year is something that we missed out on a couple of players, couldn't get them internationally, get them in here, uh, is somebody to give us some forgiveness on the back line. You know, what does we that make, mean? We make a mistake. Uh, going for a steal, or we make a mistake, you know, getting too far up in the passing lane. We call it a hero play. There's not really that person back there that's just going to block shots like Evelyn did, yeah. or step up. Talk I, I think about her now. They're they're listening. To this might not even know who she was. Who was she? And talk about her just a second. Evelyn was uh, the player of the year nationally in NJCAA. Um, she's now at Kentucky. Uh, actually, Kentucky will be here on Saturday. Uh, to recruit some of our other players just because of the type of job that she's doing up there. How does uh, she seem to be doing? They said to me that she was not only in the individuals, but she was coaching the individuals. <laughs> 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 she was in the, with the post players, and she was telling them what to do. This Get your hands up, live feet, <laughs> call for the ball, meet the ball. That's what the coach was telling me yesterday. He was on the phone with me. I said, that sounds about right. <laughs> well. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> she, it's like I say, she's not only going through the individual, she's coaching them. Well, my granddaughter's playing up above Auburn at Southern Union, and mm -hmm. she says every once in a while the coach over there will say, come here, what did y'all do at Chipola? <laughs> and and I th we take that as a compliment Absolutely. here at Chipola. Absolutely. But the other thing we take as a compliment uh, is the academic side of things. Mm -hmm. Your girls, our boys, all in the last two or three years have really come up. One time, the whole athletic department two years ago was over a three-point three average. Yep. You know, how does that look with your girls now? Or do you know yet? Uh, you know what? We have several transfers from Division One, which that you know they were qualifiers and they're good students. 
uh, the ones that we have that you know have don't have the same type of academic base that the other ones have, and, and that doesn't mean they're not smart kids. They just haven't been exposed to it enough uh, and don't know really how to study. Uh, with our ACE lab and those people, the tutors, I mean, they're awesome. They're awesome. Oh, the they ACE lab on the day we're videoing this, we just won a chancellor's award. It's my understanding, first prize in the state of Florida with that ACE lab because of awesome. what it's doing for athletics, mm -hmm. what it's doing for the academic side of mm -hmm. things. But y'all make them, not make them, you encourage them to go down there daily, and I see them come by our building on the way. Right. They're happy when they go, they're happy when they come back, so they must be doing something good. Well, Miss Bonnie is awesome in there. You're right. Um, and we, instead of doing study hall, we've started doing, okay, we're going to do five hours in the ACE lab, and you can get those however the sign-up sheet. And I think that that doesn't waste kids time because when we get out of practice the ace lab is kind of closing down so yeah. we find time in their schedule for them because they most sure. of them when they first get here they see that two-hour block where they don't have anything the first thing they're going to do is what go no, go to go sleep nothing. go That's to right. sleep well you've got a, a three-point shooter i know you've got two micah is it micah, micah. and demi demi beat her in a, a, a competition in front of a thousand people the other day with the pressure on and the playoff, she Demi went three for three. Hmm. I mean, I don't think you can shoot three for three. From not at not at not the, the key. Not my body. My body won't <laughs> let me now. But I believe I can stand there and hit not three three in a row. But Demi, every day, She's shoots there. the basketball like that every day. There's well, not are a they going to be one on one on her? It's going to be a one four defense. Everybody plays us. Well, and that's part of us trying to find our niche. What we talked about earlier. Um, you know, Demi is a person that, that needs to get opportunities created for. Uh, we're trying to find those opportunities in our offense. I'd be a fool if I didn't try to find opportunities <laughs> for her, but we are. I mean, uh, she's a, she is a very good, what we say is a stretch four, and that means that, you know, she can carry a person away from the basket, which will complement our other Never kid, him. Cynthia Pecky, that scores really well from down low, but also plays like a guard, too. I mean... That's something we, we, we've got this year that all of our players can play out on the perimeter. So it makes for a tough matchup. What about the height? Uh, we go 6'3", 6'2", 6'1", a bunch of 5'11", at the wings. Well, I didn't see any, but the shortest one is the one that returns from last year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, d uh, d I'll think of her name. Anna, anyway. Atiana, yeah. and then also you have... Uh, a little girl that transferred to us from uh, University of Miami uh, is Aisha Edwards. Right. And she's quick on quick. Oh, it is. Well, you know, I remember there near the end of the year, one of them figured out she could go to the basket and fake like she's going to shoot and pass it somebody. It was an easy layup. Right. And once we started accomplishing that, she, that's the first time probably in her life she didn't want to shoot. <laughs> I mean, even though she did want to. You still got to convince her not to oh, shoot. Really? Right <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way it is. I mean, I remember uh, also when you introduced. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know this story's coming. I, I got to tell it because <laughs> I go over with my camera during the game, and he's in a huddle, and he says, "Ladies, listen. No, all of you look at look at me with your eyes. Now listen. I'm going to introduce you to somebody." So I'm starting glancing up in the stands. Thought maybe your mom was there or somebody <laughs> you were introducing. You said. This girl is the best player in America. Give her the ball! <laughs> Give her the ball! Every <laughs> once in a while you have to reintroduce somebody, you know? <laughs> but now she was classy. Yes. Classy, classy, classy. Yes. Actually, all of them. I don't remember ever seeing any, any ill last year. I guess when you win and, 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 I mean, we were behind in lots of games. Yeah. But we came back to win. Well, what else we need to talk about here, Coach? you got two weeks for the real game start right well I, i'm i'm excited about the season i mean i i know we have three classics uh before christmas here and it gives the the fans an opportunity to come out uh, the first one will be on the 30th and 31st uh, most definitely we want to make sure everybody gets out here to see the new product uh, which we have only two returners and everybody else is is well, brand new I'll see how good a coach you are them newbies those babies so it's a uh, roll that tape. Yeah, Kenny, go ahead and roll the tape. Now, I, I went by to shoot some, and I was late for practice because one of my other mini bosses told me. Now, you, what are they doing? We're lifting a little weight. That's one thing that uh, here in our system that we emphasize so much, and we just don't do it in the off season. We try to maintain or get stronger uh, during the season. You see Chitty right there. She's grown so much, and 
There's uh, Anna, returner from last yeah, year. Yeah, that's one of my <laughs> favorites. She loves it now. She's enjoying life right there. She don't even look yeah. like she's dressed out. And then you got Cynthia Pecky. She transferred from uh, Hutchinson Community College, and she just visited well, how did uh, you Georgetown. Because that's where we were holding the tournament. Long There's long Rose Marie Julian, which has unbelievably put on about 15 pounds of muscle. Has since she she's ever been, been here. unhappy? Rose? Yeah. No. She's always smiling. Yeah. Now, I had to go to shoes here. I just had to get the shoes. They all got you better take, take good video of that right now because when we play in the game, those color socks and all that stuff, we ain't doing that. Yep, not me, 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 but us, 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 yes, us, that's us. that's right. All right, Kenny, thank you, bud. Now, some coaches don't believe in the weight room much. Some do, some don't. I've heard that over the years. You like for them to get gain weight and gain strength. If they're getting the right kind of weight, which, uh, you know, putting the right things in their body. We talked to uh, something here recently has been uh, a big topic of, uh, that people want to do after they work out is drink chocolate milk, uh, eat a can of tuna. I mean, uh, chocolate milk is supposed to replenish and the tuna Does is supposed it? to. From what I understand. I had one today. Did you really? But you lunch. didn't work out, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Forgot that part. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we really try to emphasize nutrition what they're putting in their bodies. Um, and I know that Tina in the cafeteria gets them in there and they're always wanting grilled chicken. Grilled chicken. No. <laughs> that takes a little extra time and a little extra love and just throw it in the fryer and <laughs> frying it up. But we try to emphasize that quite a bit. And um, I tell you, all of our kids have gotten so much stronger. But, you know, that's a credit to, to them being dedicated to, to the craft. I mean, I feel like in the past few years I've been here, I've really had some kids that really have been dedicated. And I've been lucky. I've been lucky in that. If you're going to play defense like you've done in the past, they've got to be in shape. Mm -hmm. You know, I still run early in the morning, and I thought, well, heck, I can get out and play basketball. I've been running for since 1988. I shoot five yeah. minutes of running and stop and start and move around. I'm dead. I mean, well, that, that, that goes back to two. And I, I always say this every time we start conditioning, what we do is we condition with the ball in our hands. We'll do basketball type things. Yeah. Um, you know, and I, I always hated it when. You know, my coaches would take us out there and we'd run 440s, 880s, and 220s, and then we'd do sprints up and down, up and down. The first time I got down in defensive stance, I thought, I hadn't worked these muscles in a long time. <laughs> and that's, you know, that yeah. gets you hurt. Uh, that'll, that gets you hurt quick. I'll check, rip a muscle up, yeah. uh, blow those knees out because you don't have the right type of muscles that are toned and ready to do those type of ac activities. Uh, so Stopping and starting and right. turning around and twisting and moving, You're, you are moving all that's the right. time in something that. Well, Coach, um, in closing, mention uh, some of the players that left us last year and where they are and what they're doing. Uh, Suki is Louisiana Tech. Uh, uh, Kendra Martin's at Fresno State. Uh, Jayla Hobbs is at Texas Southern. Janisha um, Lindsay, Texas, I mean, Alabama A&M. Um, Talia Moore, Alabama A&M. And Evelyn Akator is at the University of Kentucky. So that was six kids that signed with Division One programs last year. Akron was here, a recruiter, mm -hmm. leaning against underneath the goal while somebody was warming up, might have been y'all. Okay. And I said, what do you think? He said, well, let's put it like this. You give me your five starters, let me take them home with me, I'll win our tournament and go to the national. <laughs> he said, it's just the way it is, they can play. Yeah, and I feel like we have the same type of makeup this year. Um, you know, in some recruiting services, uh, Aisha Edwards is number one freshman in the country, uh, or number two, and you've got Barbara Johnson from Canada. She's rated number four or five, depending on uh, what rating system it is, in the freshman class. And in the sophomore class, you've got Cynthia Pecky is eight, and Rose is like, I think Rose is 10, and Akiana wow. is 11. And, uh, and a lot of them, they're first in their position. Uh, so uh, somebody asked me, you know, you might be a little thin inside again this year. We were thin inside last year and didn't have a lot of backup. I just said, you know, I don't think anybody's going to feel sorry for me. Nope. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's going to feel sorry for me. Well, why would they feel sorry for you anyway? You beat yep. everybody you played except a couple of teams, and you beat all the ones that counted uh, at the national. Uh, I think the national final was the easiest game. You know what? I, it was something where we got hot and then we got cold, and then we got hot again, and it was 19 with about six and a half minutes to go, seven minutes to go. And, and I said, saw Jock, oh. I saw Jock over buying T-shirts. He was buying T-shirts that said national champions on them. And about three minutes to go, they cut it to like seven, 
I looked at him, I said, you better try to get that refund <laughs> pretty quick. I'm not sure what's going to happen. And then we hit three threes just like yep. that. Boom, boom, boom. And it was. Well, done. ain't nothing. I, I, I always say, well, you don't learn a lot by winning. Yes, you do learn a lot. You learn all of those things you did to get you there to start with. Because any job you do, if you don't work for it, you're not going to get there. That's right. Coach, enjoyed it today. Thank you, buddy. Looking forward to it now. We've got two weeks. We won't do another show. And for you coaches out there that watch our, our network so you can see what we're doing, they will have a show every week here on CCTV and on our website. So go to Chipola College and Athletic website, and you can see all these shows. But I appreciate Coach and what he's done for our program here. But most of all, I appreciate you watching and supporting Chipola College Television.